Our top story tonight, today is Columbus Day, but some cities across eastern Iowa are declaring it Indigenous Peoples Day. Well, the mayors of Iowa City, for example, Tama, Toledo, all signing proclamations for this year. KWW reporter Ashley Neighbor in Iowa City for us today. She's been looking into these efforts to recognize Indigenous people here, right here in Iowa, and she has more on what they've been doing on this particular day, normally called Columbus Day. Well, that's right, Ron. I was at a decolonization rally earlier today at the Pentecrest. It was put on by the University of Iowa's Native American Student Association. And while I was there, I spoke with some from the Meskwaki Nation who tell me it means so much to them that cities right next door would make this move. <laughs> Tyler Lastly is performing an honor song in celebration of his ancestors, but today he's also celebrating something else. I'm very thankful that the more and more cities are starting to acknowledge the fact that uh, indigenous peoples were here before Columbus. He's not the only one. Students and allies banded together to recognize Indigenous Peoples Day. We are no longer celebrating someone who you know, was part of this treacherous past that we do have in the United States. Native Americans have a rich history here in Iowa, but only one tribe is federally recognized, the Sac and Fox tribe of the Mississippi, also known as the Meskwaki Nation. Growing up, the relationship between the people of Tema Toledo and the people of the Meskwaki sediment wasn't always positive. But he says now things are changing for the better, and Toledo City Council member Darvin Graham says the recognition of Indigenous Peoples Day is overdue as a way to to celebrate those that uh, are neighboring us those that are among us and it just seems like something that needs to be um, this needs to happen in Pima Toledo making the indigenous people of Iowa feel more at home we can begin to recognize those traumas from the past and keep going forward and keep being seen as people who are alive and well and deserve to be here Now, Tama's mayor tells me they're one of the few communities in Iowa with a vibrant Native American community. He tells me that makes them unique, and that's part of the reason he felt like this was the right thing to do to honor the tribe's history and achievements. Live in the Iowa City Newsroom, Ashley Neighbor, News 7, KWWL. That's right, Ashley. Yeah, the people of the Red Earth down in Tama County there. Last year, Governor Kim Reynolds also declared this day, Monday, October 14th, as Indigenous Peoples Day in Iowa.